obviously a dominating opening week victory. Um, is there anything you need to work on? And if so, what do you need to work on? Well, I tell you, I know we, you know, we came in with a, with a solid performance from our kids and had some nice things happen for us to allow us an opportunity to go away with a win. There's still a lot of things we still need to hash out and work on. And basically, a lot of it boils back down to the fundamentals, alignment, assignment, and responsibility. Uh, those are the things we're still working on this week. So, you know, you don't know if you ever play a perfect game because I've never known one. And uh, but our kids, you know, they've taken it in stride and realized now we've got to move on to week two and then looking forward to our next, uh, next com competition. Well, I tell you what, I don't know if there's a difficulty at all. I just know that Harrison, you know, being in the state of Arkansas, you know, they've got, uh, they've got different kinds of rules in that state in comparison to Missouri. Uh, you know, they don't have the 25 contact days in the summer. They got spring ball. They utilize a lot of that time in the football. So, in terms of an edge, I would like to say they've got more of an edge on us than we do them, just based on how much contact they've had with their kids since last, uh, probably since last April. So, uh, you know, I don't know what you want to make call it their home opener and stuff, but they had a, uh, a kickoff jamboree last week against Batesville, and and uh, they played four quarters. It actually was a game for them. So, you know, us coming in and being a first game opponent, it might be on their schedule. It looks that way, but in terms of their kickoff, it's basically week two for them. So, basically, we're on equal ground there, and they might, like I said, have a little bit of an edge just because of the, the lack of restrictions they have in their state compared to ours. Until yeah, and then from getting a chance to see them on film, uh, what kind of challenges do they present on well, offense I'll and tell you defense? What, they do some great things. They hired the offensive coordinator from Pulaski Academy in Arkansas, which is a very renowned, you know, solid football traditional school, uh, you know, perennial state championship contending team. So they brought in a very knowledgeable coach, and uh, they are no huddle, fast tempo. They'll try to get 70, 80 plays in. They throw the ball 80, between 80 and 90 percent of the time. Um, do some nice things with the ball, so they're going to have us on our heels most of the night. And it's very important for us to make sure we, uh, you know, we establish the line of scrimmage and control the ball on our side. Uh, try to keep their offense off the field if possible, and uh, you know, that's our goals. That being said, what are the keys for Ozark to come away victorious? The biggest thing is they've got three great offensive weapons on offense. We've got to keep those guys in check. They've got a nice receiver, a nice running back, and their quarterback is very durable, very athletic. And uh, we've got to be able to keep him in check. And if we can do that, you know, from a defensive standpoint, that's important. It's huge for us to, uh, to make sure we keep those guys in check. And offensively, we just got to establish a line of scrimmage. Uh, they are a blitzing team. They do some nice things with the kids that they've got. And uh, we've got to make sure we utilize and understand our game plan and, and execute it uh, from an offensive standpoint. And the special teams, once again, the guy being from Pulaski, uh, they don't believe in punting the ball. So if it's any time, you know, if it's fourth and six or less, they're going to go for it on fourth down. They do that all the time. Uh, they got a variety of different onside kicks. So, I mean, the thing about it is as you go into this game, you really don't know what they're going to try to do uh, from their strategic standpoint of how they're going to game plan us. So we've got to make sure we're going with open minds and open eyes and be ready for anything.